Dr. Evil here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Borderlands 2 Reborn mod. So first off, head over to the Nexus, the link will be in the description as always. And you'll want to scroll down here and open up the GitHub link. Scroll down a little ways and you'll find it. Don't worry, it's right here, it's not hiding. And you go there. These are the instructions manually, so if you get stuck or something, you can read over these. These go over this, the uh, information in more detail. This part is very uh, helpful, though. We'll get into that in a second. So, first off, head over to the Files tab, sign into your Nexus account, and click Manual Download. Once you have the file downloaded, you'll head over to your Downloads page, so this PC, Downloads. And you'll see BL2 Reborn in a zip file. You can use 7-zip, you can use WinRAR, you can use Extract Tool from Windows, you can use your forehead. Open it however you wish, and you'll get this. You'll see all these files, and the only one that actually matters is BL2 Reborn.txt, or text. So, copy that. And now, go over to wherever you have Steam installed. So, Deputy Black is where I have mine, the D drive. So, D, x86. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then you'll see Borderlands 2. Open that, and then you'll see a whole bunch of files. Whoops. You'll see a whole bunch of files, and you'll think, this is terrible. What is all this trash? I'll give you a hint. Willow Game Config has your configuration files for the game. The gearbox has garbage in it. The engine has garbage in it. The documents have garbage in it, and the DLC has your DLC garbage in it. So go to binaries, and you'll see reborn.txt. So, just paste. This file is the exact same as this file. So all you... It, to make it easier when you run it later on, just rename the file. So, I this was originally Borlands 2 Reborn, I just named it reborn.txt, so it's easier to type in. So, now that you have your file placed inside your game, we need to enable the game console. So you're going to head over, if it ever opens, that'd be really helpful, to this area. So this PC, documents, and then you're gonna go down to my games, Borderlands 2, Willow Game, Config, and then Willow Input.ini. Double click that, and you'll see this tremendous amount of garbage. Just scroll down until you see engine.console. It's about a third of the way down. By default, it'll say console key equals undefined, type key equals undefined, or something like that. Type in T-I-L-D-E tilde for the console key, and type in B-A-C-K-S-L-A-S-H for the backslash for the type key. The only one you'll actually use is the tilde in game, but it's good to bind the type key also. Once you've done that, save the file, and you're done with your documents editing. You can close this window if you'd like. And so now we're back to the reborn.txt. Now we need to hex edit. For hex editing, you'll need a hex editor tool. In this case, I'm using hex edit workshop. If you don't have Hex Edit Workshop, you can download it. It's very easy. Just Google Hex Edit Workshop and it's really quick. So for the sake of this, I will do Hex, and you see here, Hex Workshop. And File, and it, it knows that I've edited Borderlands 2 recently, but I'll do it mainly just to show you how to do it. So you'll see all this. This is already the, the correct directory. See, D drive, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Borderlands 2, Binaries, Win32. Now I'll do it manually just so you know how to do it. D drive, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Borderlands 2. And now you'll see this wonderful area, Binaries, Win32, and Borderlands 2.exe. This is where your exe would be normally. I have already patched my exe. When you're doing this, you click this file and hit open. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it on a backup version I have of the exe because this exe is already edited and I would be doing nothing. So, I'll go to backup 2. 
which is a backup of a backup, which is a backup of the file. And I click open. And you see this. I guarantee you'll see this and think, Good gosh, Bobby, that's hell. But it's not. Because now you have the GitHub link from earlier. So now it tells you to back up your Borderlands file. So as long as you create a new file and copy paste your exe in there, call it backup or call it schmegma, call it scrotum or call it Jeremy, you're fine. So now that you have this hex edit work, go away. Now that you have the hex edit works up open, go and copy this line. See those values? Now go to the hex edit workshop and do control F on Windows. It's the find value, or find function, I should say. Make sure this says hex values, not anything else, hex values. And now copy paste that and hit OK. And now you can see it's here. You can see those values one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you go over here, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can see there are eight values. And now notice that it says replace 83C40C85C0751A6A with 83C40C85FF751A6A. The only one that you're actually going to replace is C0 with FF. So, C0, FF. And that's it. That's it for that line. That's what you change. Now, go to the next one. Copy it. And now, hit Control F again. Paste it in there. And hit OK. And you'll say, and you'll say, and you'll see this. You'll see 7300610079002020, blah, 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 goes on for a while. You're going to stop after the zeros following the 79. So now that we're in the right box, the 73 right there, you're going to type 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, and 00. And that's it. Now all you do is click File, and then you'll hit Save. Because this is a backup, it's kind of pointless for me to mess up the backup in that way. So you'll hit Save, I won't. And now that it's saved, you can close out the Hex Edit Workshop. You can close your browser. You can uninstall your browser. You can do whatever you want. And now that step is done, you're going to launch your game. So for example, Borderlands 2, my phone rings in my pocket, and you'll hit play. I'm going to switch over to game capture to show this. So once you load up Borderlands 2, you'll be greeted with a splash screen. Since I'm running this on ultra wide, it's not going to be formatted correctly. It's going to be kind of weird. So, now that you're here, you're going to hit the tilde key. That's the console. This will be new if you haven't done this before. And type in E X E C space exec. And then type in the name of the text file for reborn. I name mine reborn.txt. So, just look in the file, whatever it's titled, type in for mine R E B O R N dot T X T. And you'll see a running Borderlands to Reborn 1.3.6.4. Please report any bugs to my forehead. And that's it. Your mod is now loaded. And just hit continue. And then look at your character in the reflections. And that's it. And now that you're in-game, one of the signs that the mod's working is when you sprint, the lighting changes. It's sort of like an e &B for New Vegas. How about that? Here, I'll kill these bully mongs real fast so you can see couple drops. And you can see how money is now green. Before, money was not green. It was goldish colored. 
now money is green. As well as some changes to your skill trees. So since I'm playing Siren, the skill tree is completely revamped. So for example, Prometheus, which is a melee sun. And various other things. So, once you have it installed, as long as your money is green, if, depending on the character, the skill tree is different, you'll know that the mod has installed correctly. A good check is, once you're doing the quest My First Gun, open some chests in Claptrap's house and make sure the money is green. If the money's hologram icon is green, then you're good. Hope this helped, and let me know if this worked out for you. So, have a good one.